fashions and pastimes and here I have a little short Makers Monday idea for you. Um, I've got them full of beads somewhere but I have a couple of bead trays and I'm always thinking I should have more of them but they don't uh, seem to have them anymore at the dollar stores that I visit. So I got a bright idea I'd make my own. So here's a couple of flat sided bottles. This one's not quite as flat as this one is. This is a cough syrup bottle. Often you get some prescription syrup or other cough syrup bottles like this. It has a, a lid. Um, and basically my idea, is, and I've done this before, is that you basically cut it in half or cut a shallow dish out of it, leaving enough that you can put the cap on. And then you have a bead tray that you can pour beads into, sort them a little bit, take the cap off, and then um, pour them into a container or a bag. So today I've got some heavy kitchen scissors. Um, I probably will need to get an X-Acto knife to get this started, I'm not sure, um, or another sharp knife. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just put a relatively straight line across the side of the bottle and you can be really accurate and measure this I'm gonna see by eye take my marker and it helps that there's a label on the bottle you could also score this with something I'm just gonna do that there and then I'll continue this around and there's less label on this side so it's got to be careful that I kind of do it again halfway which I'm going to take to be under this text here a little bit, up a little bit higher okay now this one not quite as flat but I think I could do I still do a couple of trays out of this but I would only do them about that depth and I wouldn't worry about being able to put the lid back off uh, back on and off to keep the beads in there so I'm just gonna eyeball this and uh, a little crooked but we'll uh, get started with the scissors all right now we do need to get the exacto knife well, maybe this is not the knife i used Okay, so I'm going to put, put in my uh, knife. Now I could just saw along that line. Get to there. Or you can also use a pair of uh, good scissors. You can see my line went kind of crooked. It's hard to do this on the camera. I'm gonna get the scissors out to go around this corner though because I know these corners are usually thicker plastic. I need something a little heftier to uh, cut them. And I'm just gonna kind of keep doing the same depth all the way around then I can take off the lid. It's too bad I made that one a little too crookedy. But I'll wait to go back. The hardest part, of course, is the top. Good. 
good. Okay, I'm gonna employ my knife again. If you have a scroll saw or a band saw, somebody in your house sold, or you, depending on your proficiency, could probably cut these. So you can see, as I said, this side's pretty wonky. So it's a little too low, but that happens with the first cut. So I'm going to do another cut, try to do a better line, and I'll be uh, right back. Okay, so this one I've decided to put the cut that I've part that I've already cut inside here to give me a good guide for going along for the second one. So it's really just a matter of getting started. And I can keep it then slightly above my previous cut. And then also make a much straighter cut going back across <laughs> well one would hope on, a, on the other side um, didn't work quite as well as I would like but now I have two bead trays and I need a cloth to wipe out the inside of this So we'll just wipe this out and I can go back and trim off this sharp edge and then to give you an idea here's a bunch of beads that I'd like to sort so I'm going to put the clear ones in one tray and a few more the rest in there keep going while I sort the two clear ones Usually I'm doing this with much smaller beads, but I still could put the cap on the end to prevent them from flying everywhere if I thought that was suitable. And then when I'm done with sorting, I can just quickly toss them into a bag. Then I can do the next type of sorting. That's a different color. That's about the same size. ones are that one's a different color I think no that's those are all about the same size so then I would put those in another pin container so here are these sorted and then I think I'll go for these sort of champagne colored ones too dark. That kind of goes with those. Oh, those are kind of dark. That one's dark. That one must fit with those. What about that one? Okay. There's another bag sorted. Let's get to these little small ones. Does that match with that? I'll leave them a different size. Let's just get the tiny ones in there. 
The smaller the beads, I think, the more effective this is. that I missed. Let's see if I have a small enough. Let's see if this small bag is big enough. Great. There's another bit sorted. Those are two of that size. Are these a similar color? I don't think that I need to put Do these go with them? Oh, they do. Okay, so I have two little tiny guys that are sort of in between. And a bag for them. I'm gonna put the two and two together. And another bag, so now I have one two, three, four bags of pearls that size. I have one little bag of the champagne size. I have a bag of the darker. Um, not sure what you color. They're not really as pink as they look on the on the camera. They're just sort of a just a shade up from those ones. And then I have all the clear ones. And so that's how I use these little sorting trays. Um, that wasn't a very good example of how to build one, I apologize. Um, but my tools seem to have um, wandered away, the ones that I usually use. I would get out, because I would get out a, uh, an X-Acto knife to start this one. And then I've used this kind of bottle before. Um, it's harder plastic. But it does cut very well and I like this size because I can keep the cap on it. I could even just cut the top off if I wanted to. So cut around here. I don't know if this one will go in. Let's see. No, that knife won't work. So you could even just cut the top off and then you have a cap on it that you could take off and then pour beads from if you need to do that for sorting. Okay, so for these two bottles, I straighten them out a little bit by cutting excess pieces off. And I have much smoother sided um, containers. I can also do a little bit of uh, filing if I need to, to smooth those out better. For this one, I've managed to cut an H shape in it. So across the top and the bottom and a slit down the center. And then from this, I can easily trim it. These are even like these are kid scissors. You can see how easy it is with these to trim the plastic off. Let me go down this side. It's a little tougher to get. Just can't get your scissors right to the end there, so I might uh, come in from this side and do a little bit further down. There we go. And then across there. Did I get it? Not quite. It's not a precise science because the plastic is um, 
like injected into a mold or whatever. Yeah, I think it's injected into a mold. And so some parts may be thicker than others. Certainly I find the corners are thicker. All right, we get that a little straighter. Take that off. And then this is a slightly different type of container. Um, let me find, I'll just go back to uh, these kind of beads. So again, you can sort things out. You can also um, put a lid on it, back on it, so that you can have things sitting there and then, um, you know, sort out a few beads, take off the lid, and then, so you've got the lid off, pour the beads into a suitable bag. So this one, my um, end here is not cut as nicely as I would like, so I'm just going to go back with the, the kid scissors, go across that way, and then I'm going to keep going. A little harder to see what you're doing when you're doing it through the camera lens, but not too bad. And then down, and I like to make a rounded corner if I can when I get down here, so I don't have any rough edges. So there, there's a much... Uh, easier to use tray. I can make this end shorter if, even if I want. Um, and I might trim off that little corner there because it's sharper. And I always can take a, a, an emery board nail file to it. This is the corner that I had a little bit of trouble with. So I'm just going to try to smooth it out a little better here on camera. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, okay. Rough spot right there. This corner maybe. But as you can see, it is a fairly quick process and using something that you might just recycle anyway. Um, if you have a lot of beads to sort or keep in one place, this works really well because they don't just you know, run out of the spout. Uh, and if you use a small bottle like this, you can uh, leave the uh, spout there and put the lid on it. Or you can use, um, you know, a larger um, flat-sided bottle and just make yourself a couple of trays. Mm -hmm.